Basically, it's a variant, a hair wing variant of the famous Jock Scott. The Jock Scott colour combination is yellow, red, and blue. A bit of black here and there. Uh, the body, yellow and black. Finished off with the uh, natural guinea fill in front. Now, this is this style is very popular now uh, in many countries. And this pattern especially is done extremely well, so it's certainly worth having a, a go. Now, there's many attachments you can get to hold these tubes. Uh, this is only one. I've got three or four different ones here. Uh, the main thing is I'm using the HMH tube fly adapter to hold the needle to hold the tube. Now, the tubing I'm using, this is a black sparkle, silver and black, uh, large tubing. I've got another tubing of a stiff clear. And what you do is simply just heat up the end slightly, allow it to cool, just blow it. Then I'm going to push this in down to the point where there's a distance where you would probably, you can actually slide your singles or whatever up the back or you can put a sleeving over it, it's entirely up to yourself. And then I'll use this as a tube cutter. It's the length away from the actual tube itself. Now by having this small groove here, basically I'll allow it to stop it getting pulled out. And then we slide it on. Just go onto the needle. Slide it up. Just adjust the needle so it sticks. And we'll tighten here. And there we go. Now, mainly the body's part is going to be on the, the thicker part of the tube and then the hackles at the front. Finishing off with the disc. Thread. We start off with a lighter thread, coloured thread, in this case yellow. And I'm, there's again, there's many threads you could use. This is the Unithread 8O in the yellow. I'm just going to start just at the front here. Stop the tube moving. And work my way down until I meet the inner tubing. And it's just a small lump there at that point there. And then I'm going to use a large silver holographic tinsel for the tag. Now you're looking for around about a centimetre in length or so in this size of tube. Tie it down. And then I'm going to put some super glue on here so this will affix the holographic tinsel so it will not pull out. Just wind up. Now the reason for the light coloured thread is so that I want to try and keep the floss as bright as possible and the floss is going to be yellow so obviously a light coloured thread in yellow would be the ideal colour. For the tail, again it could be many fibres for the tail. Uh, I've used natural fibre in this case here, this is the bisley fire or the hair, polar bear. Or you could use, in this case, this is uh, the many fibres, the synthetic fibres you could use as well entirely up to yourself. Or you can leave it out. Some people will like, leave the tail out. Uh, it's got a few fibres. And this is a fluorescent yellow. Just a touch more yellow in it. I just mix the dye to get a wee bit more yellow in it. But it's just nice and bright, nice and clean. Just tie it on the top. And then what we want to do then is get our rib tied in, but first we'll tie this in, kind of balance the body. There's my length for the yellow part of the body and then the rib. Now I'm just going to use an oval silver tinsel. Now the large one, uh, a nice strong tinsel would be ideal. Uh, you can use as many again, there's a few tinsels out there you can use, the braids are very good. I'm just going to stick to the standard oval tinsel and silver. Just tie it in the way down. Get some of the yellow floss. This one is by Uni. Tie it off it to the side. And then wind up. Form first part of the body. To there. And then we can tie off. So I tidy up this area. Now, now that I've got the yellow part on, I can change my thread over to black. I'm just using 
near uni black and the O to swap over threads and then this part of the fly you could use a large or a small black cock hackle or hen hackle, it's up to yourself. This is a just a large Chinese dyed black cock hackle, large fiber, long fibers. There's lots of movement in the fly. Now I'm just going to tie it in by the tip, good side facing myself. Just fold it back, two or three turns. You don't have to be so neat down here because what we're going to do is put in a, a dub body, in this case. This is a, a black seals fur and a rainbow flash. It is basically different colours flashes mixed together. You see, just pull out some of them and mix them in with the fur. And then, it could be SLF, it could be anything you've got. And put it on quite loose, don't be too tight with it, you want, it, you want to brush some of the fibres out. Just double into a thread. We'll take our hackle out of the way and then just build up our body. Take our time. Just make sure this is on tight and move there. It will move sometimes with you. So just make sure it's nice and tight. As you wind it, sometimes comes loose. A wee bit more dubbing. I say don't don't be too tight with it. If you feel it's too loose, you can always take a thread down, back up through it. You'll not see it through turns up the front. Now the big hackle, what I'm going to do is wind it towards myself. I normally wind everything away, so I'm going to wind up the weakest fibre towards myself. Just like rub the body, the black part, obviously. Just take your time at this point here. I want you catching some of these fibres. Now what you have to do is basically take a turn over the, the hackle and a turn onto the tube. This will lock it in because you're actually unwinding or winding your thread which will cause it to basically loosen the hackle so you have to lock it. What's going to hold the hackle tight is the, is the rib. And the rib's going to be wound up the same way I wind my thread. So it'll be nice and tight and it will crisscross the hackle as you wind up and obviously make it really strong I uh, don't want to catch these fibres so just cut one or two at the beginning just take a time just draw them back out of the way don't have to worry too much but if you want to make it look good you certainly got to make sure it's out of the way and then rub the fly all the way up see the thread's crossing over the, the hackle, catching it in. Now as you get near the top of the, the body, just follow up with the thread. We 90 degree bend into the oval tinsel. At this point, just make sure things are tied in nice and tight. Now what I like to do is trim that away and bear it so it's down to the core oval tinsel so that it's actually well caught in. And there we are. There you, are. So you, can, you can use a shorter hackle if you wish. In the smaller sizes I would do that. And then get some velcro and bring out some of this flash and some of your dubbing in between. This is why I like to put it on quite loose so that it comes into the, the hackle. There's a lot of body in. Into your fly and gets a lot of movement. Now to build up our wing. Mm. Now the body's done, obviously. Now it's an unusual way of building a wing up, but the main thing about this, when you're getting the shape into the wing, you want to try and form like a, a teardrop shape, a tapered, so that this this what gives the fly all the movement and makes it so obviously take a lot of fish. Uh, so we have to just be patient with ourselves. It all pulled together at the end. Now this is an optional material. I have some. This is rhea, which I've dyed. Now this is basically a, a, a ready orange I like, it's a hot orange dyed with a touch of red in it so you get a lovely bright clean colour. Now I'm taking a few fibres off, now I'm going to tie it forward of the eye, or forward of the tube sorry. Now length, you're looking, just check the length, 
by the tail if you was just hanging over the so basically you're looking at that area here so it's part of the underwing so red first just say tie it forward slightly spread it out spread it with your nail when you're happy you can tighten up trim away so most of it just leave that come in with some red dyed red fox Now if you haven't got the rear, you just ignore the rear and tie in the fox as I am just now. Now just brush out the ends to clean them up. Now what I like to do is, is put a wee taper into these fibres, not a straight cut. So that you don't, don't, it doesn't look as bad. Now again I'm going to tie this forward. Let's check the length, just slightly short of the rear. Come over. Two or three turns is really all you need. Then you can then slightly spread it with your nail, just flatten it so the fibres are well spread on the top and then I'm going to get some more rear, this, this way this colour's a nice bright yellow and uh, again same number of fibres or so tie this forward again shorter because we're tapering in here so it's folding back so you're going backwards in a way so we tie this in to see the length turns and again trim away the excess but leave a few leave it out just get these yellow fibers just slightly spread them you want them evenly spread so sort of like fanned out get some dyed yellow fox this is just quite be patient these flies do take a lot of time to tie and once you get going you can get a few done I usually sit and do the bodies first. Now you brush the hair out again, just slightly taper these cut ends. And again we're going to tie this forward on the top. Just a couple of turns at first, see how it's sitting. And then again we roll them, roll a nail on the top just to spread the fibres. Now to lock them in, what I'm going to do is get some super glue put it onto my thread and then wind just in that area lock them in and then lift them up bring my thread to the front but not on them just in front don't want to basically tie these down you want them to basically sit up once you've tied the materials on this will all lay or sit back the way you want you get a nice so sort of taper help form the body of the fly or the, the wing it gives it a lot a better taper anyway and that's what you're looking for now you can still move things around a wee bit but that's okay you can in this case this is a an old toothbrush that you can brush the fibers in together or you can get a hair dryers and see how they're sitting you can have a look and see the taper here starting just leave that there, this, you can hold it while it's still warm and this will hold back or stay back for you just like that now what, what I want some flash in this case this is a rainbow flash this one's by loop and uh, or black thunder they call it so it's just a mix of flash different colours just going to fold it a couple of times don't want it too long this fibre gets a wee bit tangly and if it's too long, so reasonably short. So I'm just going to tie it on the top, fold it, fold it back in itself. You can brush it in. Adds a bit of shine to the, f the fibres. Now the rear is a really bright colour. You'll see like in this blue. When you dye this the rear, it's amazing the colour you get. It's really clean and bright. It's great to put into the fly. Now I'm just going to put the blue rear one. Now it's longer, tapering out. See how it's coming away. The length of this wing I'm looking for around about 10 to 12 centimetres. So there's your length in this size. Just pinch and lip it on the top. And then trim. 
Okay, and we can make sure it's sitting the way we want. So the hairdryer is a perfect machine to give you the impression of water, just to see how the fibres are sitting. So if I go like that, and I can move them around, and see the length, you can see exactly how they're sitting. Now, to protect or hold that, what the first thing I would do is just put a wee bit of super glue on my thread, and wind it over these cut ends, so hold them nice and tight. Now I'm going to use a soft tackle in front, and just to build up a wee bit. And these are these are soft tackles. These are from Future Fly. It's a dyed black. A bigger one than that. There's a patch you can buy. You can use big hen hackles if you want. So I'm just going to pull back. Fluff. I don't. But I want. Do you want some of the fluff as to the the movement of the fly? Now we tie this in by the tip. Fold it back. Basically what you're doing here is tidying up areas. Where you've been tying obviously at certain points, it just stops building up spaces between points and by just filling them up with a fibre or a hackle or some sort. At the same time adding in a lot of movement. Wind it down, one done in front of the other. You see, it tidies up that area. Got a small, yeah. So if you're finishing off, say that'd be a nice small head. And just trim that away. And then I'm going to get some to again taper it. I'm finishing off with this is some dyed, dyed black silver fox tail. Uh, so it's a nice piece. Again, what I'm going to do is just these sort of dry ends, I'm just going to bring it through a comb. You can see it just tidies it up. The length. The length you want. Make sure it's spread out. It's going to do a, to a couple of loose turns. Two or three, then tighten up. So that when you can brush, come through with the brush, you can see exactly how it's sitting. Any loose fibres, you can take them away. And if you're happy, let me see your side. Well, it's not too bad. You can trim this away. So moist my fingers a wee bit here so that I can keep some of these fibres back. Tidy that area up. Now, some peacock hair, just natural peacock hair, looking for around about four fibres or so. Just bring them 90 degrees from the stem of the feather and they should line up. If they don't, you can bring them in, just slide them up to the ends. See, they'll make sure they're not broken. And once you're happy, what I do is I run my fingers through, just bring my fingers and you'll see starting to sit, like, sit the way you see a certain natural flow. When I see that flow, I put a wee curl in my nail. So then I can then three quarters the wing length, tie this on the top. Nice and tight. And then we can throw away the waist. Now, to make sure it's not going to pull out, Again, I'm going to put some super glue on my thread and then wind on that area and onto the peacock. Now, just to give you an idea what it looks like so far, I'll put the hairdryer on and see the shape of the fly. You see how things are sitting, and how it's mixing. See the length there, which is good. I'm going to finish off with a couple of bits of flash. There's this one is a one by reflections. It's a red, gold, and blue mix. Now you can use your own mix. I'm just going to offer this on the side to shorten the length of the wing, and then I'm going to fold it onto the other side, and then trim it so it's both the same length. We 
we go. Two jungle cork eyes, two large jungle cork eyes I'm putting on this one. You can use up all the big ones that you've got. Or you can leave them out even, it's entirely up to yourself. Two eyes. Now I want it to the back of the body. So I'm putting them on basically like crossed. It's like a butterfly style. Or I don't know what they call it, but that's what I call it anyway. I don't want it it's too flat. The reason I want it raised it quite long is that the front hackle, the fibres are long in it and I don't want them covering the jungle cock as well. So just on the top, both at the same time. Now you can move them around at this point. See how they're sitting. Nice shape. If you're happy, make sure that they're both the same length. At this point it's better just to take your time. Again, I can fold these back. And then you can break them off. Nice and neat. Don't worry too much about fibres going forward at this point. You can always trim them away, pull them back. And there's a jungle cock. You want them sitting out, so they will sit out well when they're in the water. You'll see them top and bottom when you put them on that way. Front hackle. It's using an actual guinea fowl feather. This one here. A large one. You tie it in by the tip. Now, there's a couple of ways to get this to sit right. I like to wind it through some dubbing, which hacks like basically if you wind something onto like a hackle onto say a chenille, it will cause the fibres to sit sit up and out. And this is what this does. So I'm getting some of a dubbing here. Same dubbing I used in the body. Just lightly dub it onto your thread, and then just wind a. A head or dubbing if you want to call it that thread to the front and then wind through it nice and nice and tight you see the hackle the stem will sit into these fibers and catch it a good few turns I, I usually like to fold back the hackle now putting a turbo disc or a UFO disc, depending on what you want, company you buy, you buy them from. Trim that away. And then we can whip finish. If we can find our whip finish it, there we go. Now, before we put on the disc, what I like to do is all the twists you put into the, the hackle will cause them to so I get so slightly twisted or caught in with another when you twist the fibres on anyway. This way if you heat it up it will bring them out. If you look what I'll do is with the spring these out. I'm just bringing them back round where they should be sitting. All the way around. At the same time you can see the shape of the fly at this. You see how it's lifted the fibres out. Which is exactly what you want, not a lot of movement in the fly. Now we're ready to put on my well, saw wall disc, uh, which will go in the front just to give it a bit of basically resistance when the water hits it, it causes a lot of movement behind. Now to secure that what I do is get some super glue and don't be shy with it. All the way around. Any small fibres there, don't worry too much about them. Once you pull the disc up against it, it'll hold it. Slide it up. Nice and tight. You can see how it finishes up against the, the disc. Just give it a minute or so to it actually dries. Then what we can do, what I do is then remove the fly. See how things are sitting. 
Uh, that looks okay. Now I used a big pair of scissors, cut maybe a mil and a half, two mil from the disc. And we just simply then, if we want to start, a tapered needle here that I'm going to use to open the, the end out slightly. So the first thing I do is obviously you melt it. The puff of smoke, and then we can put that in. Well, it's still warm, that will open the hole out. And there we go. And that's basically uh, it's a modern version, if you want to call it, of the Jock Scott hair wing, but tied in what we'd call a temple dog style. So, it has a lot of work to the fly, but uh, these do catch a lot of fish, they, they do well and uh, certainly worth tying a few, you can as I say, the colour combinations is up to yourself this is one I've been tying for a few years now that's done extremely well so I hope you enjoyed that <laughs>